Well, the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame is a one-of-a-kind facility that honors hundreds of great Oklahomans. The museum highlights some of Oklahoma's greatest athletes and some of its greatest sports history. Eddie Griffin is the president of the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame. So we just have a, have a ton of people from Oklahoma that uh, the culture of Oklahoma, and I always say this when we go to the College Football Award Association, they came in the other day when we met and they said, what are you guys doing in Oklahoma? And I just told them it's the culture in Oklahoma, it's just hard work and, and uh, doing the right thing at the right time and making sure you're, you're there when you're supposed to be. So it's, uh, and I think, I think relating that back to kids that come through the museum here, that's what we try to tell them, you can get there from here. Wherever you want to go, you can get there from being from Oklahoma, whether it's as sports and athletics or arts or, or whatever you're going to try to do in your life, you can get there. The crack of a bat, the smell of the turf, fresh chalk lines under the Friday night lights, the hush of the crowd as two competitors face off on the mat, the whistle blows, the crowd cheers. So many memories wash over us as we think about sports and the place in our hearts where our sports heroes live. Allie Reynolds, I thought, was such a great pitcher, and I always wanted his number, 22. Well, my dad, his dream was to play in the major leagues as a catcher. I was named after Mickey Mantle. You see a guy named Mickey Mantle from Oklahoma playing on the New York Yankees, and you say, that guy's a teenager and playing with the Yankees. You know, that's, uh, that's impressive. And Oklahoma has more than its share of superstar athletes, men and women who have stepped up from the red dirt playing fields of Oklahoma to become champions on the world stage. I mean, guys like Mickey Mantle and Terry and Bud Wilkinson and all those guys, they were just my heroes from time I was in junior high. One of my earliest memories of uh, somebody I really looked up to, probably Wayne Wells, you know, won the 1972 Olympics. I didn't have to look too far. My, my idols were my brothers, Leroy and John Smith. You had uh, Campanella and the Dodgers, and you had the Yankees and Yogi Berra and Mickey Mantle, and I couldn't wait to watch them every day. I mean, I think we all want to not only celebrate these heroes, but I think in a lot of ways, it's a validation that hard work and sacrifice mean something. And in fact, the best asset that the Hall of Fame has are these stories. This is where many of the stories come alive. The Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame is home to the stories of Oklahoma sports greats, a collection of Oklahoma-made inspiration. Played on uh, seven pennant winners with the Yankees and got to play with uh, some great players. Uh, Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, uh, Whitey Ford, you know, several Hall of Famers. It didn't happen right away, and uh, it like took a big load off of my shoulders. I finally did what he had been saying I could do, and the fans kind of, you know, the New York fans are great, but uh, they can be pretty mean. And I was only 19 years old, and uh, you know, I was, I even called my dad and told him, I said, I don't think I can play ball, you know. <laughs> One visit to the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame will not only inspire, but the number and caliber of this state's athletes may also surprise you. We have 175 distinguished members of the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame. I grew up in Oklahoma, and most of the people in here, the closest I ever thought I'd get to any of these was having their baseball card in my box boat of this state to produce the number of athletes this state has in uh, all sports is unbelievable. The talent that has come from this state, it's exceptional. Those guys in that hall push that talent to the limit. The Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame is one of the top five sports uh, museums in the country. You know, everything from the world's greatest athlete, Jim Thorpe, to people like Mickey Mantle and Ralph Terry in baseball and Johnny Bench. And then gymnastics with Shannon Miller. And it's on and on and on. And not only do we have great athletes, Barry Sanders in football, Troy Aikman in football, we've just got such a rich tradition in the sport in Oklahoma. And until you come in uh, the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame, you don't realize how darn many uh, people have excelled in all kinds of sports. Well, I think that, you know, interestingly enough, 
Only one time in the history of mankind have two college running backs overlapped in their careers and both ended up in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton. That's Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas. They're both in this Hall of Fame and I had the privilege of coaching them. The people that are here are just unbelievably great, great athletes and great people as well. So for me to be included in that group, I love it. Well, through its Bright Path Youth Program, the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame sponsors the state's largest drug-free initiative, as well as Oklahoma City's Children's Challenge that involves more than 4,000 Metro students. Now, the Jim Thorpe Museum and Oklahoma City Sports Hall of Fame are open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 5, and admission is free.